Three, two, one, deploy. Ah! All right, so here's the deal, guys. You guys have probably seen the video of me making this 420 pound dumbbell right here, the world's heaviest dumbbell. A lot of you guys started asking, what am I gonna do with this dumbbell? What is the purpose of it? Because a lot of people can't lift it, can't do a lot of stuff with it. Although you can do like some deadlifts, some squats, good things like that. I don't think there's gonna be anyone in the world that is going to be able to lift it to their shoulder and put it over their head. I think the world record right now is like 320 pounds, so an extra 100 pounds is going to be quite difficult. But a lot of you guys made some very clever comments, clever suggestions when I did make this dumbbell. A lot of you guys were like, roll it down a hill and see what happens. Smash some shit with it. Actually, shout out to Matt from Demolition Ranch who solidified the idea that you guys are going to see in this video. And that is, I got myself a car hoist. I got myself a car hoist. And then my idea was to actually get the same magnet that I used in making the 420 pound dumbbell. There is a magnet in here that is capable of lifting 1300 pounds. That's right, this is called a magnetic lifter and we can attach this to the end of the dumbbell. So basically the whole concept in theory to start is we are going to use uh, the pull-up bar I have here, which is damn strong. We actually had three people hanging on it, pulling on it, and, and we didn't have issues. If it falls out, it, well, that's gonna suck, but it's, it's gonna fall out. But that's the whole point of science and experiments. So what we're gonna do is attach this hoist up here, this electric hoist up here. Naturally, we got a nice plug right here because it's an electric hoist. Then we're gonna take the magnet, attach it to the car hoist, and hopefully we'll be able to pick up this 420 pound dumbbell to a certain height and then be able to drop it. Now, now you guys might be thinking, oh, this is gonna be crazy, you're gonna hurt yourself, all this other stuff. The good part about a magnet lifter is I just have to flip a switch and everything will drop. So I'm gonna put myself somehow at a higher level so that I am not in the way of this dumbbell when it drops. Oh, and if you're one of those people that are asking me why, just like I said in making the 420 pound dumbbell, because I can. Oh, man, this is heavy. This is like, Really, really heavy. That is crazy. Now some of these magnetic lifters cost a lot. I got this one for $200 with shipping, which is actually really good. Especially considering the weight, this thing weighs like 40, 50 pounds. I'm gonna have to clean off this handle a little bit here. Um, but this goes up to 600 kilograms. The bottom part, obviously right here, will go uh, flush right here. There is an on and an off switch. When I attach this guy right here, and I put him to on, this magnet will be activated. When I put it to off, uh, essentially that thing it will drop so pretty cool there's like a little button here so I've attached it and it's locked when it's on but if you want it to turn it off you just push the button in and you rotate out and you're good <laughs> so go <laughs> watch yeah that works that works that works like a freaking charm this is exactly what I needed look how cool is that and then you release no problem, it comes off. So cool. Done. Go ahead and attach that hoist to there. And we're gonna see if this will really work. Yeah, tighten all these bolts. She's gonna require a little bit of effort. So I've attached it to the top. Obviously it's a little loose now, but once there's weight on there, I don't think it's gonna move much. I just want to bring that all the way to the bottom. Then we're going to bring the magnet over. I'm going to attach this to the magnet. Well, that works. It's a little loud. So truthfully, I bought like a pretty cheap hoist. Like this thing wasn't that expensive. Probably cost me like 180 bucks. So I figured if this experiment goes right, I can buy, invest in a more expensive one. Um, you know, that really lifts a much heavier weight and it's just a lot more stable. So this is just really like an experiment hoist just to see how far we get. Let's see if this thing can hold up.
All right, so as you guys can see, the dumbbell is completely off the ground now. Off the ground, it's holding. I think it's gonna work. Again, I'm going slowly up. This is only like, not even a foot, right here. If I were to switch this off, let's see what happens. Whoa. All right, so we have, uh, the operation is going, like it's better than I planned. I thought it wouldn't go well at all. Uh, we do need to put a little bit more reinforcement on the bottom padding because the, the concrete, the flooring underneath is going to get shattered. So we're gonna put like another mat on top. We'll have like two, three inches of rubber. I think we'll be just fine. All right, a couple days have passed and it's time to do our first experiment. Bought 10 cheeseburgers. We're gonna see how this dumbbell can handle them. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Actually, I do know what's gonna happen. I just wanna see like how cool of an impact it is. I also think that we should actually put a little bit of duct tape at the bottom of this dumbbell right here because if a burger hits here, it's gonna go right inside. Burger is now flat. Experiment number two. Put two burgers. All right, so we did two burgers. It really just, this is the one and it just turned it into a super, super, super thin burger. I mean, it was expected, it was expected. Um, let's see what happens when we simply just smash a bunch. Three, two, one, four. Ah! <laughs> I forgot that it would shoot out. <laughs> So dense. That's that's actually pretty damn cool. That's actually pretty damn cool. I like have the same flavor, but the consistency and the density changes the game. Changes the game completely. It's so so different. I don't know. I don't know how to, like it's so dense. That's interesting. Okay, this is actually our second time recording because the first time, a lot of stuff was blurry. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that everything was epic, but the second round, look at all the residue around the shrapnel. Like all the way back here, and there's like, like it is everywhere. Look at that, it's stuck against the Yeah, vacuum. so much power. Like, we, we're, we're gonna block off all of this. Again, this is our first time trying this. Um, so we're only gonna get better and better. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is going to be the 420 Smash series. I know you guys are gonna love it. I know we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments box what you guys want me to smash next. I got a sweet list of stuff to smash, but I'm sure you guys are gonna come up with some awesome suggestions as well. This is gonna be called the 420 Versus series and I know you guys are gonna love every minute of it. We'll catch you guys later. As always my friends, follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. You guys know the drill. Catch you guys later. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. Boom!